and welcome to my E3 coverage of the Sony conference. Yay, Sony, PlayStation, yay. Anyway, why did I go read Childish? I don't know. Anyway, yes, Sony. So, what are we talking about today? The Microsoft one I've already done, that'll be in my videos, and the Ubisoft one is to come. So, go check them out, because they'll probably be up by the time you watch this. So, let's talk about Sony. This is the big one. It's, well, not the big one, they're probably all quite big. The big ones are probably the Bethesda and the EA ones, they're the ones people care about, the ones I did yesterday. Go check them out as well. Go watch the videos. Yeah, go watch the videos. The videos are good. Anyway, Sony. PlayStation VR. That's the big thing we've just announced. And PlayStation VR is the first console of VR we're going to see, because it's coming out in October this year, 2016. I was predicting 2017, like mid-2017, not towards the end of 2017. But no, we are getting it this year, and it'll be running on current-gen consoles, so... We'll see. They haven't announced a new console. Well, they said that it's going to be coming, but they didn't say it would be coming at E3. They didn't announce one at E3, so... We're running on current consoles. Will it be an add-on, which does most of the hardware itself? We don't know. But we shall see. I will probably cover it when I get a chance, because it's interesting whether we're going to see VR becoming mainstream. I'd like it to, because I think VR's awesome. But we'll see. So, let's talk about the smaller things which PlayStation have announced. New Hideo Kojima game. I don't know why it was at a Sony conference. I thought it would have been his independent... He would have worked in an independent studio. But because he left Konami, he's probably working with Sony to get the money to be able to build the game and then probably move on to build his own studio unless there's licensing issues and stuff. But it's Death Stranding. I haven't watched a trailer for it. This is, I have, as I've said in my Microsoft one, I haven't watched the conferences for these. So we shall see, and we shall see how it works out. But it'll probably be a good game because it's Hideo Kojima, and he's a very good game developer. He's a film director, is what he wants to be, I think. But yes, it's going to be interesting and going to be weird, like all of his games. So next, we have... Crash Bandicoot, remastered, one to three, three. I, I'm happy with that, I like Crash Bandicoot. If you want to remaster old games, go for it. Don't remaster games that came out on the last generation console. There's no point. Remaster things that came out on the PS2 or the PS1. It's much better for you, because you people can't play them anymore. It's a better idea. Yeah, It's just a good idea. Remaster something that came out a long time ago, which people can't play. Remastered something that came out two years ago. Well, probably more than two years. I don't know when that's when that came out. A couple of years ago. And people can still play them because they probably still have their PS3. Yes. It's just... I don't know why people remaster games like The Last of Us was remastered, wasn't it? Yeah. Why was that remastered? When probably people still have their PS3. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. I'm rambling. So, Last Guardian has got a release date. It actually exists. It's been rumoured and talked about for years, but it finally has a release date. I don't know what it was because I didn't watch the conference, but I saw it on Twitter for there is a Last Guardian release date and it is going to be coming out. So, we shall see when it comes out and whether it lives up to the many years of development, unlike Duke Nukem Forever. As I said, PlayStation 4K has been announced and it will be coming at coming some point next year. Insomniac is making a Spider-Man game. I'm interested by that. If it's going to be good, we'll see. But I enjoy the Spider-Man games. Spider-Man 2, greatest game of all time, probably. It's amazing. But we shall see how it works out. Uh, Final Fantasy 15, that's going to be coming out, and it's going to be having a VR experience with it, so it'll be working with the PlayStation VR. Uh, Resident Evil 7 will also have VR support, so we shall see how that works out. I think that would be quite good, because it will be the first example of the horror genre on the PlayStation, but if they try to do it in third person, you'll vomit, because third person VR is horrible. And finally, on the PlayStation side, we have Days Gone. This is a new t new IP, new title, which is just a zombie killing game. It's going to be, I think it's going to be a lot like a State of Decay, which we actually saw a sequel announced in the Microsoft one, I think. But it'll be similar to that, I believe, with the open world and the survival side of it. But we'll see. I don't know, and I think it will be interesting how they do it. So, that's all for the Sony side. There is a couple other things, but these are the big main things that I saw, and that stuck out to me, that I thought we should talk about. So, 
that's the Sony side. Go watch the Microsoft one, go watch the EA one, go watch the Bethesda one. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, which is around here probably. And tell me in the comments what you liked for Sony Conference and what you wanted more, wanted to see more of, and maybe what you want to see on this channel. And yeah, we'll see the Ubisoft one in a little while. Probably, if you're watching this as it comes out, it'll be, it'll be in a little while. If not, it'll be live and you're up next thing, probably. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, hit that favourite button, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in a bit. And purity out.